Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about gut health and autoimmune disorders. As you may know, the gut is home to trillions of bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms. In fact, we have about 30 trillion human cells and about 38 trillion bacteria cells. That's right, our bodies act as a host for more bacteria than our own amount of human cells. These microorganisms make up our gut microbiome and they play a vital role in our overall health. Hi, I'm Ann Calhoun. I'm a wife, a mom, a nurse, and a wellness educator. In this video, I'll discuss the link between gut health and autoimmune diseases, and I'll share some tips on how to improve your gut health naturally and treat autoimmune diseases naturally. In recent years, there's been growing evidence that the gut microbiome influences the development and progression of autoimmune diseases. The gut microbiome helps to regulate the immune system. Happy gut microbiome, happy and healthy immune system. But when the gut microbiome is out of balance, it can lead to inflammation and an increased risk of autoimmune diseases. Our immune system is regulated in part by the gut. When our immune system is underactive, we become at risk for infections. When our immune system is overactive, the risk of autoimmune disease develops. There are a number of factors that can disrupt the gut microbiome and affect our immune system function. Number one would be antibiotic use. This could be oral antibiotics or IV antibiotics given, for example, during surgery. Number two, a diet high in processed foods and low in fiber. Number three, stress. This is a big one. I see a lot of women with that type A controlling personalities and a wrecked gut microbiome. Number four, exposure to environmental toxins. The best way to truly know what's going on in your gut is to have a GI map done. A GI map is a test run on a stool sample that can assess the amount of bacteria, both good and bad, the presence of things like viruses, fungus, parasites, worms, and the function of organs like the gallbladder, pancreas, and liver as it pertains to gut function. It also assesses the amount of inflammation and immune system function. With this information, I can create a plan to increase the good and get rid of the bad with you. Here's a few tips to keep your microbiome healthy. Eat a diet that's rich in fiber and fermented foods. Probiotics are live bacteria that can help improve gut health. You can find probiotics in supplements like doTERRA's PB Assist and also these great foods like fresh raw sauerkraut. Prebiotics are non-digestible food ingredients that feed the good bacteria in your gut. You can find prebiotics in things like onions, garlic, asparagus, other high fiber vegetables. doTERRA's fiber is a really great convenient way to feed your gut microbiome also. Manage stress. My recommend recommendation for this is to spend 15 minutes a day barefoot on the earth. This helps to control inflammation by neutralizing free radicals with the Earth's negative ions. Another tip, whenever you eat, fill half your plate with vegetables. This is a really great way to feed your gut microbiome. And remember, there's more of them than there is of us. Taking these steps can help reduce your risk of autoimmune diseases. And if you have an autoimmune disease, Changes to your diet and lifestyle can help alleviate some symptoms. This video is the first of many on this topic. And if you'd like to be the first to know when the next video becomes available, hit that subscribe button now.